Hi guys, in this video, we're going to find the possible values of the constants A and B. Our exercise stipulates that the coordinate of points A and B are A and 2 and 3 and B respectively, where A and B are constants, like I said here before. And the distance between these two points, A and B, is square root of 125 units. And the gradient of the line AB is 2. So uh, what we're going to do here is to find the possible values of A and B. According to the information given in the exercise, the distance between A and B can be written like this. A, B, this is the distance, is the square root of, and that's what we say here. So we know it is X of B minus X of A, both squared plus y of b minus y of a both squared and of course they told us in the exercise that this distance is equal to the square root of 125 unit so this is going to be equal to 125 unit and now what we're going to do is that we can you know square both sides of the equation this is going to give us xb Plus minus x a squared plus y b minus y a squared equals to 125. Okay, and we would we like to replace x b x a y b and y a by its value right here. So x b um, is here three of x of a is a o squared plus um, y b is b minus y a is 2 squared and this is equal to 125 as you can see here we have a and b I mean two and non okay and we definitely need two equation to be able or a system of equation to be able to solve this problem so this is we're going to call this the first equation this is one and the second information is giving us the opportunity or the possibility of finding the second equation it is said that the gradient of the line a b is two and we know to find the gradient of a line we have to divide the difference between the y value by the difference between the x values minus x a so and they told us that this is equals to two so of course we can also replace this value by what we got here in a point y of b is um b um y of a is two minus two divided by um x of b is three minus x of a is a and this is what it said this is equal to two so we have two equations now and we need to solve this both equation to find a and b but here we can also write uh we can also say that um you know by cross multiplying that b minus two here equals to two times three minus a and then take this equation here yeah replace it in the first one so we're taking this one in the first one this is going to give us, um, so this equation, 3 minus a squared plus b, and b, b minus 2 this time is this one here. So we put that in, 2 times 3 minus a, and the whole thing to the power 2 equal to 125. And if we expand it, it's going to give us 3 minus a a to the power 2 plus 2 to the power 2 before here uh, times 3 minus a to the power of 2 and this is equal to 125 as you can see we have a factor common factor 3 minus a to the power 2 so we can put it out front 3 minus a to the power 2 then it remains here when we factor this one here it remains here 1 and the other side plus 4 
and the whole thing equals to 125. Now, as we have in five here, we can divide this one here by five and here by five, okay? And we still have your 25 remaining. Means that we have it now three minus a to the power two equals to 25. Now we can square root both sides of this equality here. This is gonna give us here three minus a equals to plus minus five, okay? So that's definitely mean that we're gonna have three minus a equals to minus five on the one hand and three minus a equals to five on the other hand. And this first one is gonna give us three, we have in here minus a equals to eight or a equals to eight. Okay, and cause we're gonna pass minus a to the other side and pass five to this side. So make eight here and a equals to eight. And the same thing here, we're passing minus a to the other side and five is going there. So this is gonna give us here a equals to minus two. So these are the two values of a. We can underline the two values of a. We got here uh, eight and a equals to minus two. Now that we got these two values of a, we can replace a here. I mean, both values in b here and have the value of b. So we're gonna say for, for a equals to eight, Okay, we're gonna have b minus two, taking this equation here, equals, or this equality, equals to two times three minus eight. All right, and work it out together. This is gonna give us, um, we have in here passing two to the other side. This is here six, uh, we have minus five here, minus 10, and passing two to the other side, it's gonna give us minus eight. So we have here b equals to minus eight. And for a equals to minus two, we are also having minus b minus two uh, equals to two times uh, three plus two these times because we have a minus two here and we had minus before. This is gonna give us what we pass, this is here five uh, times two, 10 and plus two will be b equals to 12. So those are the value, our possible value of a and b, you know, in this condition given here in the exercise. So again, in this exercise, uh, what was important to do was to, uh, to take this information here. This is the very important information they, were, they gave us here, the distance, okay? This distance here equals 125, root square root of 125 unit, and use the formula of the unit to build up the first equation or the first equation. And take the second information, the gradient of the line, here is AB is two. And with this second information, we created this second equation. And in a system of equation, we just have to either per addition, per substitution, or whatever you want, solve these two equations to have, I mean, to have the values of A, and B. Okay, thank you for watching again. Until next time, bye-bye.